Hi guys, what's up? And welcome to TSP TV. And in this episode, we're going to do a little bit more in the kind of 2020 time to prep. Is there a food crisis kind of series or theme? Um, and reason being because a couple of those videos that I've titled 2020 time to prep have got some pretty impressive views in the last couple of weeks. In fact, one of them has over 1300 views and one has over 500 views. So I figured, you know what, let's see if we can trigger that algorithm again with a 2020 time to prep food crisis titled video and see if we can gain some more views but um if or not there is going to be a coming food crisis i really don't know and i'm not out to fear porn anybody and start telling you now's the time to prep you need to prep i'm just suggesting that perhaps you know going by early reports from um, mainstream media and on social media that this year might see a, uh, an increase in prices of food items due to to availability and shortages and maybe you know last year we saw some weather events that uh, did cause a little bit of damage and dent to farmlands in North America that may indeed see see shortages of um, things like potatoes is something that I've heard uh, from the news in Canada we might be seeing a shortage of in the coming years but if or not there come uh, there is going to be a coming food crisis uh, remains to be seen but the dollar store will always kind of be a place where things are inexpensive now you know where are you Wherever you are in the world, um, there's an equivalent of the dollar store, be it the pound land if you're in England or the cheapy shop as they call down under in Australia. I learned that from no script. Thoughts for you down in Australia. Fingers crossed that not everything's okay for you. We know you are kind of close to the um, affected fire areas and you were saying that you were almost ready to bug out. At one point last I heard, still haven't heard from you, no script. Um, sorry to get a little bit uh, diverted there. But um, yeah, she's somebody that has been affected by the, the, the wildfire in Australia is also going to be a place that possibly is going to see um, some food shortages in some kind of food crisis as a result of the fires here. Um, so as I said, the world is a strange place. It's uh, still January of 2020, although it seems it's been January for six months already. And in, uh, in my mind, I feel as though I should already be preparing for Halloween. It's been that long. Um, January seemed that long. But no, it's still January. It's a few weird and uh, strange events have been going on so far. Not that we're going to touch on those. But uh, something that does seem to be cropping up each and every week in news feeds and certainly on, on um, news articles that I come across is that we are going to be seeing a food crisis of some sort this year be it on this continent or somewhere in the world we are going to see a food crisis now one way to avoid or protect yourself from a food crisis um, would be to prepare now buy uh, a little bit of food each and every week that you wouldn't otherwise buy maybe sacrifice daily lattes or stop going to Tim Hortons for a box of Tim bits a day and put that but you know that dollar aside for a week or so and then with what you've saved up go to the dollar store and buy some items and what you can see here are all items that I picked up at my Dollarama. Um, some of them are named brand items. Some are sort of people you've never heard of. Some of them don't even contain nutritional um, stuff on the side of the can, which is a bit weird because most cans do have nutritional values. But all these items that I have in front of you here um, on the screen, very boring and unexciting as they are, um, are all available for a couple of bucks or less at your um, local Dollarama if you're here in Canada and maybe wherever you are in the world in, in the United States. I'm pretty sure if you go to the dollar store, there will be similar uh, equivalent items to this available at the same price. <coughs> Excuse me. So you can see here, nothing's very, very fancy. We've got some luncheon meat, and this cost a dollar fifty here. Um, and you can see some cooked ham. Um, and if you look at them, kind of. Uh, you'll see that the, ca the cooked ham looks as though it's the bigger item. This actually cost $3, this cost $1.50. But if we look closer, we can actually see that this can has 340 grams and this can also has 340 grams. So for the $3 this cost, you could actually have two cans of this, which what would that bring us in? 680 grams of luncheon meat. And then this is kind of very, very, very similar to the um, spam. You actually get a, a key there that you can open it. Um, similar to spam but yeah that's like lunch meat it is a sort of, sort of proce uh, protein it is extremely extremely processed but um, it's stuff that you can mix and match you know you can chop up some of your pain divand 
Um, there's always some pain involved with Canadian food uh, somewhere or another along the line because uh, they have to put the French. So some of you have watched my Canadian IMP ration reviews. They know about the hamburger pain. And there's also some pain in the pantry in the form of this luncheon meat. Um, I think that just means meat bread or meatloaf perhaps but here we can see good old heinz baked beans and these are pork and beans hobo style we've got eight grams of protein per serving and a serving is 170 no 125 so 175 or 125 i'm not too sure um, but anyway, they were a dollar a time, and we get some pretty decent figures on the side here. We've got 20% of our iron, 8% calcium, we get some vitamin A, we get our protein, sugars, fibers, um, carbs, sodium, fat, and calories. Beans, can't go wrong with having cans of beans in your pantry as far as I can um, advise or say, you know, more beans beans the musical fruit and all that but uh beans they are kind of a good moldy uh, nutritional item and here we have um who knows the baron is that say baron but these uh beans with maple flavoring to them i think at the time i picked these up they were two for a buck so for twenty dollars you could get 40 cans of beans um also got a couple of cans of soup we've got some minestrone we got some hearty chicken noodle and again we've got some good good nutritional um numbers on the side to there that will fill you up in times of need again you don't even need the can opener for these you just pull open the can you can eat it from the can no need to uh do anything more than that but you can heat it up if you want to um, and if you are available to you know let's say if you are in an emergency or you know hurricanes that kind of stuff you can just open a can and eat it out of the can if need be um, some more normal uh, more named brands available at the, the, the dollar store are these chef boyardees and these are a dollar a piece here in Canada um, so they do have a few items available for a buck at the dollar store though uh, not too many it seems that more and more increasingly things are like a uh, dollar fifty or two dollars and above um and even up to four bucks and you know that mario ham is the most expensive item on the table here everything else was two dollars or less um and as i said these also are great they contain a veggie a carb um and a protein and uh they got some pretty decent figures on the side there and everything again as i'm saying available that i picked up here this isn't stuff i've just recently bought this is things that i've picked out of my pantry for the the purpose of this video um, but all come from the dollar store and everything here would cost you around $20 um, at today's prices at the dollar store if these items are available so we did mention the can this got no nutritional value on um, and this is like the, the, the chicken and um, you know you get the tuna cans as well very similar to this but I'm not a fan of tuna which is why I don't have it but um cans of tuna are things that are readily readily available at the dollar store as well as things like sardines I think also some have sometimes have the herrings um as well but uh we've also got a can of peaches there and as we look on the side you don't really get too much um uh, goodness out of a can of peach but there again they're a buck a piece and they also have you know like the fruit cocktail and um peaches um pineapples uh exotic fruit in a can as well so uh other item here is a little can of mario's corned beef you know you can put that on a cracker with some cheese whiz you can mix it in with some instant mashed potato or with some some canned to, um, canned potatoes to make a little bit of uh corned beef hash so prepping doesn't have to be overly complicated it doesn't have to be about buying 20 pounds of rice and 20 pounds of um dried beans and then going on and buying uh 20 liter mylar bags and then buying a ceiling uh, a tub to seal them in and stacking them on top of people though on top of each other you know because people don't always have this time and space or the the resources to indeed um cook these items in the, in an emergency let's let's face it some of us have had uh, situations where we've been unable to pay the bills and the electric's been shut off um, and cooking rice and dried beans without a, a source of electric or a source of fuel indeed to keep a, a flame burning um, is, is particularly hard and if you're somebody that lives in a you know a small small space like me I you know I just rent a room in a basement some people live in small condos one bedroom apartments 
trailers, stuff like that, then these things being very cumbersome take up a little bit of room. And not only that, you're going to need the um, need fuels and resources in order to cook those, as well as the, the water needed to boil rice and, and dried beans. Stuff like cans, you can just open and eat from the can because most of it is indeed cooked you don't even need to heat it up um, you can just eat it as it is but obviously it's a little bit more comforting if you heat up but these items you know are easy these are items that are common um, these are items that we are all familiar with so what I'm kind of saying is you know you've probably been a prepper without knowing it if you've gone and done a, a weekly grocery shop or a monthly grocery shop where you've stocked up for the month be it to make your lunches for work or school or you know for your breakfast in the morning and this is indeed some kind of prepping so just doing it um you know every week you go and buy a, a, a Buy your groceries put a little bit of money aside to buy maybe an extra week's worth of food you put that week's worth of food away and you eat a week's worth of food and then maybe when the the items come close to expiry you live off your pantry for a couple of months um and put the savings into replenishing it you know what i'm saying so it doesn't have to be complicated it doesn't be have to be hard everyone can do it um i know there are people with you know disabilities or, or mobility issues that can't always get out and do this on their own but it's not something that is beyond anybody's capabilities and you know maybe going to the dollar store with a, with a family and kind of trying to make a little fun event dare i say see how much you can get for twenty dollars and then trying to beat that each and every week and keep your eye out for you know um items that are on special offer each week at places like the no frills and maybe get used to doing a little bit of couponing and put these items into your pantry um so don't be overwhelmed there's no need to be overwhelmed i was a little bit overwhelmed before i started and um before you know it once you do get a little routine going you kind of uh miss not doing it but i got to the point where i think i've got sufficient amount of food although i do have a little room to, to add some more items uh to which i will do over the the time um over the coming days and weeks ahead uh as i said is 2020 the time to prep um if you haven't started prepping um uh, until now maybe you know this could be a belated new year's resolution that will probably serve you a lot better than joining a gym that you're never going to go to after february um but still going to pay for because you signed up to it so um I started off by going to the dollar store. I bought 20 bucks worth of um, stuff there. And I think I also went next door to the no frills and bought 20 bucks worth of stuff there. And each and every week or every couple of weeks when I got paid, I'd go to the dollar store and buy 20 bucks worth of stuff and just put it into the pantry for a rainy day. And rainy day just can be in any shape or form. You might find yourself... Um, with ill health you may find yourself with personal injury you may find yourself being made redundant or being unemployed or out of work um you may find yourself in a hurricane or flood situation or some other natural disaster and who knows maybe one day the zombies will finally come and we'll have to live off of our cans of beans and lunch and pain um in our doomsday bunkers waiting to them to run out and then beyond that waiting to die ourselves but uh, if you have a little bit of food put away for those rainy days whatever they may be then the prolonged you know the death will be prolonged just a little bit more if you do have something to sustain yourself and food is something everybody needs we've all got to eat one way or another and even if you're just preparing for the prices of food to become a little bit higher than they normally are or have regularly been um and why not buy now and save later if you can uh, as i said we don't always have to prep for the doomsday or the apocalypse sometimes the shit hitting the fan can be on a personal level in many shapes or many forms but if or not there is going to be a coming food shortage and if or not food is going to start costing um an arm and a leg start buying it now and start getting used to going to the dollar store where pretty much everything is is cheap and cheerful so uh, i don't know if this video will be or help or not to anybody i'm not telling you you have to go out i'm not saying there is going to be a coming food shortage uh and a food crisis uh, i'm not trying to fee uh, fear upon you 
am just trying to test the algorithm and see if 2020 time to prep is something that is being pushed as an agenda. So thanks for watching, folks. This is a ship video production for TSP TV. See you in the next one. Till then, keep it thrifty.